Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by Python developers using the Requests Library. Our viewer has created an API wrapper that attempts to parse responses as JSON. However, they encounter a significant delay when the response is a large image file. They want to know if there's a way to quickly determine if the response is JSON parsable without waiting for the parsing to fail. Let's dive into this intriguing question and explore potential solutions. All right, guys, welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you'll get to that resolution. Anyway, on to the video. Cheers. To determine if a response from an API is JSON parsable without attempting to parse it, we can check the content type of the response. Let's start by examining the response headers. If the content type indicates that the response is JSON, we can safely parse it. Otherwise, we can directly use the raw content. Here's how you can implement this check in your code. This approach allows you to avoid the delay caused by trying to parse large non-JSON responses. By checking the content type first, you can quickly decide which branch to take. In summary, by checking the content type of the response, you can efficiently determine if it is JSON parsable. This will enhance the performance of your API wrapper. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To quickly check if a response is JSON parsable, you can look at the response headers. Specifically, check if the content type starts with application slash JSON. Using starts with helps you account for all valid JSON formats. However, keep in mind that this doesn't guarantee the content is valid JSON. This method is useful to filter out responses that aren't declared as JSON, giving you a quick way to assess the response type. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To check if a response is JSON parsable using Python requests, you can create a custom session class. This class overrides the request method to handle JSON decoding safely. In the overridden request method, after making the request, you define a wrapper function for the JSON method. This function attempts to parse the JSON and returns none if it fails. Finally, you can use this custom session to make requests. If the response's JSON method returns a valid result, you can proceed with your logic. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To quickly check if a response is JSON parsable, you can examine the first few hundred bytes of the response. Count the number of JSON characters, like curly braces or colons. Alternatively, you can look for image signatures, such as JFIF, PNG, or GIF.
And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Bye.